Namaste everyone, my name is Madan Gurung. I am an international student from Nepal, currently studying Masters of Professional Accounting Advanced at Torrens University, Sydney, Australia. Hola, I'm Bertha from Mexico. I'm studying a Global Project Management and before that I was studying in another Laureate University uh, back home at the UVM Power. Welcome Ricardo to Torrens University, Sydney, Australia. It's an honor to have you here today with us. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> Bienvenido. Gracias. And my first question is, today there's more than one million students at Red Network. So what do you hope each one of us will learn during our time here? What I'm hopeful is that um, everyone will be realizing their dreams that you know, whatever decision they made and the sacrifices that them or the families made for, for each one of our students who study here, that whatever they thought was going to be the outcome of, of that investment and that commitment, that it gets realized. So if it was, you know, um, just to get the degree or, you know, to be placed in the right work or to work for the company doing you know, what they wanted or conceived that was going to happen, that those dreams really come true. Okay, my second question for you, Ricardo, is, as we both are an international student, and there are students from 78 different countries studying here at Torrens University, so why do you think that creating a diverse learning environment is so important for Laureate International University? I think that um, in today's world, mm -hmm. it is essential to know how to work in, in diverse environments. Um, we are uh, living in a time that there is so much change, that um, there is so much diversity around us, that we have to be able to cope, um, understand, and work extremely efficiently and well with um, anyone, doesn't matter their religion, their uh, race, their beliefs, their political spectrum, etc. We all have to be comfortable working with very different people and, and to be effective in communicating with, with the diversity. Yes, absolutely. So employment in the future will be very, very different. So how do universities need to change to make sure graduates will be successful? I, I think that you are in the you, you've, you've made you know the the right the right uh, caption for what's going on in in the workplace. I think that everything is changing. Yeah. I think that you know uh, even millennials are changing jobs like, like <laughs> that's because, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Definitely. they don't you know either companies don't adequate to them or they don't <laughs> adequate to the yeah. companies. Yeah. So so jobs are changing. Mm -hmm. The workforce is changing. And what is demanded, you know, and the expectation even from schools mm -hmm. on thinking linearly, right, on a, on a straight line or in a sequence, yes. that certain things have to happen. All of that is being challenged in, in today's world. And um, I believe that the students have to focus on programs and universities have to focus on programs that are very well connected to what's going on in the workplace, that are in tune to what, the, what, what skills are going to make them successful okay. in, the, in, in the jobs um, and for, for uh, the teaching that occurs in the classrooms to be in tone so that you know when they get out um, they are prepared to manage all the changes that, that they're being uh, faced with. Ricardo, I must tell you that you work with a wonderful team of Torrens University here in Australia. So do you consider that people are the most valuable asset for the Laureate Network? Yes. Uh, without, without a doubt, anyone that knows me well knows you know, that I am a people person and I'm a people person um, not only that I enjoy working with people because I do, but also uh, the work that we do, people is at the center. Um, whether it's at the students or is it through our faculty in the classrooms, uh, through the administration, through the connection with other businesses, through you know getting employment, um, people is is uh, this is a heavy uh, people business, and um, 
and not only from the uh, value uh, proposition that, that, that we do, but also because at the end of the day, our final product is the outcomes of our own students. Ricardo, I would like to ask that since Slotted Network is the biggest B Corp, so how do you think that profit, how do you think that the organization should reassess that profit is the only fundamental of creating the business values? Well, um, three or four years ago, um, Lore took the decision as a company to, uh, to convert itself into a B Corp uh, a type of uh, corporation. It's a benefit corporation, and what the benefit corporation does for us, it, it gives us uh, not only to be accountable for uh, maximizing the valuation for the company for our shareholders, but also to be accountable for the outcomes um, and, uh, and being uh, responsible for the social impact that we also, that we also produce. I think that given, uh, given where we are, given the type of company that we are, given the fact uh, that our purpose is to uh, change societies through education, I think it's important to have those two uh, bottom, bottom lines um, uh, to the shareholders and also the social, the social impact. Yeah, I think that's why it also defines the value of Torrance University, which means here for good. I agree. Ricardo, I would like to know, what is the most important valuable lesson that you have learned so far in your career and would you like to, to share the experience of learning how you learned it? Um, never take anything for granted. Mm -hmm. Always put your best effort into everything even on things that you think are going to happen smoothly, mm -hmm. do your homework, be prepared, over prepare, mm -hmm. you know, um, cross your T's, you know, dot your I's, um, and surround yourself with the best people. Well, thank you, Ricardo. That concludes our interview. And it's an honor having you here. And we have learned a lot from you as all the staff of the Torrance University and all the students look after you. You were a great motivation and influencer oh, for me, personally. It was, it was a pleasure. Thank you very much. <laughs> was amazing. I was very nervous in the beginning, but mm -hmm. then suddenly he's a very nice guy, so I feel quite confident. Yes, it was. Like, we have learned a lot. Yes. And, like, I was really intrigued by the fact that he's so generous, and I'm very humble towards him that he has taught us so many things. We have learned so many things from him because he is very successful, and we, as a business student, we look forward for it and I definitely have something to share with my friends at Laureate yes. and the Torrance. Don't you think so? Yes, as you said mm -hmm. before. Yes, he's very passionate. I like his energy, mm -hmm. how he answers. And for me, it was a great, great opportunity to have, to have him here. And I hope he enjoyed his time in Sydney and New Zealand. I especially like that how he delegates all the power to the regional areas of the laureate. Yes. And that's why he has been so successful in managing such a great organization. It's one of the biggest education network and I'm very proud to be a part of it. Yes. And if you're a student of Laureate University, uni uh, Laureate International Universities, my recommendation is be yourself, it's a very great opportunity. And in the beginning, as I told, and as I mentioned before, I was nervous, but I think this is, I'm very happy to, to mm -hmm. be here to share all this studio, all this ambience. So anything you need to say before? Well, that's it guys, we enjoyed the interview and hope you like it. And it was very informative. It's very influencing, it's very motivating. And and to be honest, he's a great personality. I'm very really intimidated by him, by him, and I feel very positive.